In this week's Above the Terror Line, we thought we would examine the abduction of an American expat in Lahore, Pakistan, with an eye towards expat security. Last weekend, Warren Weinstein, an employee of J.E. Austin Company, a USAID contractor in Lahore, Pakistan, was abducted from his home at 3 o'clock in the morning. Motivation-wise, we don't know whether or not this was a criminal abduction or a hostage-taking for the purposes of some sort of political statement. One of the fears you have in any kind of abduction would be the potential for the hostage to be sold to a terrorist organization. The police are looking at the potential for some degree of complicity either with household staff or security guards hired to protect the residents. Having investigated many hostage takings overseas, there's two components that I want to bring to your attention. The first being it's important that you have trusted and vetted security as well as household staff that you're bringing into your home to rule out the potential for an inside job or complicity. The second thing that is critical is making sure that you have a good safe haven inside your apartment or house to retreat to. A safe haven would be a location that is hardened up. It has either hardened doors, a hardened frame that will enable you to lock the door and retreat to in the times of an emergency. Ideally, you would have a ability to communicate from that safe haven with an outside line or a cell phone that's stored there so you can call for help. In examining the video from the crime scene, I saw something that caught my eye that needs to be looked into. Whether or not this has anything to do with the case, it's the kind of lead that you need to run down. I think it looks like the individual had personalized license plates or license plates that were issued to the car, which would make it very easy to identify the individual operating that vehicle. Case in point, in one of the investigations I worked involving Ramsey Yosef, the mastermind of the first World Trade Center bombing in 1993. Yosef and the informant that we subsequently worked that led to Yosef's arrest walked around Islamabad, Pakistan and were able to identify U.S. and British residents based on license plates that were parked in their driveway. And I'm wondering in this case whether or not the very unique license plates led to the individual's location being identified to the criminal abductors or to the potential terrorist organization. The above the terror line aspect with this video is complacency had probably done Mr. Weinstein in. He'd been in and out of Pakistan for seven years. Probably the last thing he's thinking about is something happening to him. It's important that long-term expats maintain a high degree of situational awareness and revisit their security posture.